And y'all know it's gonna be a bad video with this going on. Here comes the triple injector. All right, action shot here. Yeah, look at this. Well, how do y'all like how I did my crepe myrtle? I was experiencing crepe murder over here. And, uh, <laughs> we skinned that thing out. Freaking hate those trees. Little shout out to the awesome t shirts uh, that Dead on Plastics puts out. I think those are um, uh, with the design help of the maestro himself, Brad Hardy. So, uh, anyways, everybody, welcome back to the world's worst fishing. Uh, it's great to be back. I've been gone for a couple weeks. Um, had a couple things happen in my personal life, and then I caught COVID. Um, so, round two with COVID, a lot better than round one. Round one was miserable. For like three weeks, I couldn't even like ball a fist. I had no motor functions, no energy. Uh, so, much better around this time, thankfully. So, um, Glad to be back. Uh, this this video is way overdue because of those things. Um, so uh, we are introducing a new mold. It's new mold day, and that's always exciting. Um, so I've got a couple colors in mind. Um, really excited to have this mold. It's already been released. You've probably seen it if you uh, follow the soft bait world. Um, technically, we have two molds to show you today, but we're going to be featuring one of them, and that is the new AI 3.8 inch rip wrap injection swim bait mold it's like the cousin to the hammer mold um let's go ahead and take a look all right so here we go here is the mold and the bait i uh i went ahead uh, a couple days prior to, to filming this i went ahead and uh broke in the mold this is sort of a, a cinnamon shiner so it's a dark cinnamon the pigment's called dark cinnamon on top with a little bit of copper flake and some black flake and then the bottom is just clear with silver so if we hold it up well, you really can't tell. Um, uh, sorry, clear with gold. So it uh, makes a beautiful kind of Florida shiner color. Um, so if y'all want to maybe see that one, let me know in the comments below. We can definitely um, do a, uh, a video on that. But here is the mold. Let me zoom out just real quick here. Still nice and shiny. Yeah, gorgeous. In fact, we'll show you the side without the bolts. Look at this. Oh, new molds are like new jewelry. So shiny. And there goes that laundry. But I'm not going to let the laundry keep me down. So yeah, there we go. A lot like the hammer, except it has more of a Kitex style tail. You can see very thin, kind of not a lot of mass in the tail. And, that's, and that gives it an extremely tight kick, right? A very tight tail kick. Uh, particularly at very low retrieval speeds so a very different bait than the hammer and that's on purpose but you team this up with the hammer and you have perhaps two of the greatest trailer baits um, particularly in the saltwater realm although you know what I see when I see this I see Alabama rigs for bass so again the bait is 3.8 inches long okay so a very very comfortable size it's again it's going to make a great trailer bait a great alabama rig bait um you know there's a lot of bait packed into a very small package here and uh it's also going to have a tail mold right so you have the tail mold option with this as well right looking good there very nice very nice josh does tail molds so well so uh anyways we're gonna try color here we're gonna go with uh yeah, look at what happened to that glitter I did, can anyone explain what happened here we're gonna go with sort of a nice bait fish color which i think will look really good laminated again i will put the link to this mold in the description down below and probably pin it to the comments um, to ai's website so that you can check out this mold and the other mold that we need to look at actually so no surprise here, we're going to be going with the Dead On Plastic Swim Bait Jerk Bait Blend. Now, with a bait this size, with, with such a small tail and thin tail that's going to have so much kick, you can get away with using craw tube or possibly even saltwater blend, depending on the bait's intended use. Um, for how I would, would uh, throw this bait, and hopefully am going to throw this bait on camera, Swim Bait Blend is all I need. All right, we're gonna do a simple bait fish color. So sort of a smoke charcoal top here. So uh, this just a few drops of black there. 
This is three quarters of a measuring cup worth of plastic in each cup. So we're not working with a ton of material here. The mold's pretty small, the bait's pretty small. Um, so we're not just mixing up a ton of stuff. But, okay, that's looking pretty. It's looking pretty good, maybe a little bit more. One, two more drops, all right. And then we're gonna add our flakes. So we're just gonna do some small, some small uh, .015 blue and some silver, okay? All right. So uh, that's a quarter teaspoon right there. We're doing about a half of that, so an eighth, I guess. Cut it all the way down to an eighth of a teaspoon. So not a ton of stuff here. I did this color years ago. In fact, this color may have been on my first ever soft plastic video. I was doing a color match. And uh, I believe Strike King or somebody called this one sort of called, uh, I think this is called Smoky Shad. If you think about it in terms of a production color. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it a little different today. We're gonna be using um, blue highlight for the belly instead of traditional white powder. So I think that'll just look a little bit cooler. Highlights are, are special, so. a Little bit more flake to each side, all right? And then we're gonna go with our blue highlight. Just some standard Lure Works blue highlight powder. No fancy shift or anything, just highlight. Just like that. And that's basically it. Laminate those two together in a mold like this uh, is, is gonna look really good, I think. So, oops. So, in any event, a pretty simple color build today. Yeah, you can see that blue highlight there. Pretty simple color build. Oop, we have some contamination in there. Little chunks of stuff. I have no idea what that even is. But that's our color build. All right, looking good there. Got everything uh, heated back up and uh, all that flakes looking good. You know, I've I always hear that dead on plastic just doesn't suspend flakes, so I, I don't know what's happening there. But we've gotten the mold laid out here, the uh, dual injector ready. And uh, the way that this mold is oriented, the top side of the cavity is on the right with the bolts facing you. All righty. First cavity down. Oops. Okay, so I actually do not have drumsticks in the shop today because I had band practice recently because uh, I'm playing a gig soon unless this hurricane comes here. And uh, I don't have my drumsticks, so we're gonna use our stirring knives. Here we go. That's a good way to scratch up a beautiful mold, by the way, if you're, if you're ever looking for a, for a way to ruin a mold, that's it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, baby. Let's see if we can get them uh, sort of laid back out in some sort of an order. I doubt it, though. Once those tails are out, they're out. Okay, well. Eh. Almost, you guys. Look at that. Is that not awesome? Look at how well the mold laminates despite being an asymmetrical swim bait mold and being top port injection. That is beautiful. It, it does not get better. You cannot get a better laminate. Look at this. No denting, no, no air pockets. A lot of times top port injection, you know, you have trouble with the tails filling or uh, air bubbles getting trapped in the tails. None of that. It's, it's a lot like the hammer mold in that it's just flawless. Absolutely flawless. 
And how about the color? The color is nice too. Smoky Shad with some blue highlight. Check it out. Simple, simple stuff. Yeah, Josh killed this one. All right, round two with this color. Definitely wanted to make some more of these again. I think the plastic is a little hotter this round, so we might get a little bit of bleed in the laminates. They may not be quite as clean. So that is something to keep in mind usually the lower your temperature of the plastic is always the more even your laminates usually are just an old trick of the trade all right and here is round two you can see a little bit of bleed over right we have some flake kind of going places right some of that flake from the top kind of wound up even in the bottom section there. So, um, you know, that just goes to show how important temperature can be. I don't mind sloppy laminates, however. I think they look uh, pretty natural. But if we just kind of overall look at the ones from the first, from the first run, you can see a much more uniform, even laminate amongst those. So, oops. I don't know where it went. Maybe that's it. Nope, that one's warm. I don't know. Either way, awesome looking stuff. <laughs> but yep, low temperatures, even temperatures means even laminates. So, uh, you know, those, those certainly weren't bad, but um, you can definitely see the distinction. Um, so awesome color there. What should we do next? Yeah, that's pretty sweet right there. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so after much, much, much deliberation for about 10 to 15 seconds, uh, we decided we're gonna go big. Here comes the triple injector. All right, so before we get to all of that madness, I wanna show y'all the other new mold. Yes, this is real. This thing is humongous. This is the 8.8 .8 inch magnum, magnum, magnum size Mojo open pore worm mold, okay? So if you've ever wanted a super magnum sized trick worm, essentially, this is it. I think we call these diamond tail flatworms in the uh, mold home bait community. But uh, this is the mega, mega, mega mojo worm. All right, so like, here it is, the size of my pinky, like fits in the cavity. It's absolutely massive. This is a real man's mold, okay, uh, for big time bait making. Check these out. We did some snakes in them. The same snake that we do in the ribbon tails okay the ai 10 inch ribbon tail there's some snakes right there same exact pattern but in this absolutely huge. i mean just look at the size of this thing it's absolutely huge very thick you can see you got a beautiful capsule there with the white belly every snake kind of has a white belly yeah lovely color blending <laughs> Absolutely massive, the new 8.8 .8 inch Mojo Worm Mold. I'll link that one down as well, only from AI. All right, we're gonna attempt, oops, attempt a triple injection, injection in this mold. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Just gonna hope for the best here. All right, well, the uh, inside of the triple laminate block looks really good. That looks really nice. So hopefully these turn out. This is a recipe that we've done before on here. So the top is ZTX Dip Your Car Hyper Shift. An amazing effect there. The middle is dead on plastics uh, chartreuse pigment. And then the bottom is again, coming in strong with the blue highlight. All right, I've got a little bit of work to do here. I'm not sure. I think I need to lower my temperatures even more if I can. Um, it may just be too asymmetrical of a shape to really get it right. 
Um, I really like these. Those are really, really nice. One of them kind of had some uh, tail trouble there, so I'm not sure. You know, those were pretty low. So I'm going to give it one more shot, see if we can get them to come out a little bit better. All right, so second round was much better. You can actually see the layers, right, on, on these. Some sides are better than others. Now I had one that just didn't turn out, um, <clears throat> you know, but I'm also doing this mainly with powders. Um, powders are really hard to laminate. You know, the, the viscosity is different. Um, they just behave a lot more tricky than traditional color pigments. Um, so that's really not bad. In fact, that's super sexy. That might be thumbnail, but um, anyway, yeah, I, uh, I definitely wanted to see it happen and uh, that's pretty cool. All right, here are the uh, colors that we've done so far. Those are the only three that we've done in this mold. Here's some cool stuff right here. I call this one my sparkle illusion in the uh, five inch open pour. I've got one uh, still in the mold to kind of show you what it looks like from different angles. It's essentially a vein of sparkle flake with a clear belly and then some color shift fun on sort of a dark charcoal top. All right, let's make a few casts. So we'll get some uh, shots of it in the water here soon. The roll with this thing on a jig head. So right now I've just got it on a uh, money head uh, minnow jig, jig head I think. Uh, these are like what I use on Alabama rigs. The roll in the tail kick, mm -hmm. this is beautiful. Okay, we're gonna try to get a uh, quick little action shot for you of it coming by the screen. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, it went out of focus. All right, Let's see if we can just do it this way. Oh, man, the, uh, there again, the, the roll. And this is probably not the most visible, visible uh, color there. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if it's in focus. All right, now I'm really doing some dumb stuff. I'm actually holding the camera over the water's edge. <laughs> try to get this footage here because I just was not getting it from the tripod. Look at that. Even even then this is really difficult to get close enough. It's a small bait and um, oh my gosh. The, uh, the, the tail kick at, at low retrieval speeds is incredible. Now let's burn it across. That's the best I can do for you right there, Josh. Woo! All right, now we're gonna get back on the deck here. All right, now we're just gonna make a few casts around, and uh, you might hear some background noise. This pond has like uh, big water fountains in it, so who knows? Just had one yank on it, but uh, I'll bet that was one ugly hook set. I completely missed. All right, this pond may have won the battle. We're gonna win the war. We're carrying over. We're gonna carry this video over till tomorrow. I'm gonna be out in my parents' neighborhood. There's a chain of five lakes where I grew up. We're not just. We're not done just yet. We'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, everybody. It is the next day, and. Um, I am like the worst YouTuber ever. So I came out here with my family to have a late birthday lunch for my son Landon. He just turned four. And I was throwing the rip wrap around just kind of before we ate lunch. Didn't have the camera going. Caught a nice fish. And I actually do have proof. So I'm gonna show you proof. I'll put the picture up on the, um, on the actual uh, video here. But that literally just happened. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can get another one. Yeah, Landon, Daddy's going to try to catch him. Daddy's going to try to catch him. What are you doing down there?
big fish. I'm fishing. He's fishing. Fishing. Look, Uncle Caillou. Look, Uncle Caillou. Play a little bear. Catch another one. Sister Gal. Steve, we mm -hmm. turn this on. No, <clears throat> Turn it on. She'll just want to run into it. I know. Like the beach. Yeah. That's his chainsaw. Don't need it. Oh, that'd be way. great if you jacked one on it. <laughs> Boy, I need it. Dad almost cut my fishing pole. He cut my fishing pole and Jenny did it. It's got a nice little, uh... It's so big, frozen pole in here. Yeah, it's a wind room. It's a Mars, a school holiday. A shirt. Let me see. Can we get on it? It's nice. Cheese. Oh. You got, you got weeds on your back. Uh-oh. Oh, look. All right. Action shot here. Is that a bass? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Let's get another one. All right, so it, uh, it actually turns out my dad had his cell phone out uh, whenever I caught that fish. There's about a 15 second clip of it. Uh, it's really great because uh, my son Landon and um, my sister's little boy Miles and, and all of us are out there and they're all hooting and hollering at the fish. Um, I cannot for the life of me get that file in this video. I, it just will not work in my software. Um, so. I am sorry that I cannot include that in this video. I'm gonna try to post it to like my Instagram story or something, um, but I could not get it to work. And um, yeah, but now we are getting ready for a hurricane. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yep, there we are right there, the blue dot. Man, stay safe everybody. Well, all right, everybody, that's going to wrap this video up. Um, awesome, awesome mold, awesome bait. Uh, it was really fun to catch one in front of the family and have all the kids around. Um, so, uh, again, I'll try and post that to, uh, I'll try and post it on the World's Worst Fishing Instagram for anyone who really wants to check it out. Um, but, yeah, it was really cool to, to catch one. And, uh, you know, sorry that we didn't have the camera rolling. I had just kind of gotten there. But um, I'll definitely link the mold in the description down below. Actually, both molds. And uh, definitely check them out. That uh, that big worm is, is going to be pretty cool. So I'm excited for that. Now we just have to survive the week. Uh, you know, we've we've done a lot of hurricane prepping already. So uh, to everyone in the state of Florida and, um, you know, in anywhere else that might be impacted, I think it's going to uh, be in Cuba like tonight. So, uh, so uh, to, to everyone in Cuba and, and all the islands down there, the Caymans and places, um, please be safe. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap this one up. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We'll see you next time.